Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Shubham Oja and today we are going to talk about payment system in connected cars. Yes, we are going for the future of automotive industry and in that future we are going to see a payment gateway in your car inbuilt. You will be able to pay your payments or you can say the required funds to the person you want using their infotainment system. So these kind of things are being developed and these kind of things are being only developed because consumer demands or the customer are requesting for it. Automotive industry always work on the demand basis. They never develop different kind of things by their own. If you are able to demand it, they will definitely develop it. So a lot of people were asking about the payment gateway using their infotainment system because they find it difficult to just roll down out their window payment make payment using their credit card debit cards or different kind of payment uh, you can say third party using their cell phones so these kind of things are developing and in the coming future we are going to see these kind of products to be developed at a very good pace and in the automotive industry these kind of business have a valuation or opportunity about 230 billion dollars so you can see in the future we are going to see a lot of lot of different kind of third party coming in the infotainment system to develop the payment gateway or to develop different kind of things already several kind of companies are collaborating and different kind of for, for the different kind of products honda have collaborated with visa to develop these kind of things and we are going to talk about there because the infotainment which you are seeing on the screen is basically from the honda's website so thank you for developing and thank you for you letting me using your basic uh, infotainment system uh, diagrams and different kind of pictures honda so we will move about areas that we need to pay payment or the areas where we need to make payment at so there are different kind of areas and there are different kind of areas that a vehicle interact to make the payments so the first one is at pump you don't have to basically roll down your window and make the payment you will just have to click the button on your infotainment system and you will be able to pay for the amount of value that you have refilled your fuel so different kind of prospect and different kind of things are coming in future it would be same for electric vehicle as well the amount of charging you have basically used and to generate the power for your electric vehicle you have to pay for that power or you can say electricity bill now the second one is the payment at parking how convenient it would be that you don't have to roll down in window collect the uh, tickets and then when while you were leaving you have to make a payment by rolling down the window again and giving him some kind of cards or cashes for making your payment how easy it would be that the ticket would get only in uh, store in your infotainment system and while leaving you can make a payment using this kind of infotainment system by just a click off button it would not only save money time but it would also save paper and environment as well so these kind of things and these kind of parking assist system are being developed at different level at different cities and different countries so we have to wait a little bit but it is it's one of the most important area they where a vehicle need to make a payment third one is for the repair payment how easy or how convenient it would be that your uh, customer advisor or your service advisor is basically asking you for the payment using your infotainment system and you can confirm it and the vehicle will be delivered at your location by your customer advisor or someone from the authorized service center and you can make a payment using different kind of uh, payment method using your infotainment system these kind of infotainment have a specific name i will talk about that in the future video as well as in this video in bill so the third uh, fourth point is the automatic payment at the drive through orders so this is one of the most requesting requirement from the customer side a lot of people were asking for this feature that's why automotive industry are planning to develop it with different kind of uh, you can say third party and it's a win-win situation for everyone so in this there will be a security camera which will basically monitor your number plate and then it will send the data to the uh, processing system using the database of this restaurant and the restaurant will basically look into the different kind of uh, you can say payment method or previous order you have made and it will send the menu to your infotainment system and you can choose your favorite dish or favorite uh, beverages using your infotainment system and can make a payment while leaving that area so these kind of things are being developed and they are under development as well uh, gm general motors are basically collaborating with different kind of outlets to develop this kind of things so for we for these kind of things we have to wait a little bit and we have to wait till 2020 20, uh, because by by that time they will be able to develop all these kind of things and this channel will be the first channel that will inform you about these kind of technologies for that you can subscribe to us and if you have any kind of question feel free to comment down below 
now we will look into how to basically implement these kind of things and before that one more area we have which is pay at toll toll is one of the most important thing when we have uh, intercity uh, travel and a lot of people are traveling due to the covid situation in their car and they are crossing toll uh, toll gate and interacting with one another is might a risk that's why automotive industry have already developed few technologies to pay without opening your windows or without contacting with the customer or the pe person on the booth so now we will talk about how to basically implement it what are the steps that we need to take uh, take for the implementation of these kind of fintech fintech is basically a term which is used for developing different kind of financial technologies the first one is the new generation ivi ivi stands for as i was telling you that in my previous slides that there are a special kind of infotainment system to be developed and you must have heard about these kind of infotainment system the first one is the in vehicle infotainment system which requires an operating system which is as good as your phone and runs on the software the companies are adopting linux window and qnx as their operating software and some companies are developing their own just like toyota now the payment function for the payment function we can use rfid which is range range radio frequency identification and after that we can have a bluetooth low energy which is about to 20 cm and with high accuracy using mobile applications or mobile operating data so these kind of things are basically already being used by your mobile operators for different kind of payments such as google google payment ptm for the payment uh, payment uh, requirement of all, all these kind of things all these kind of you can say api is already using bluetooth low energy third one is the third party api which is being developed by google and amazon and they are doing it specially for the automotive sector and for the infotainment system which is being inbuilt in the car so you can see you can basically use your infotainment system as your cell phone and you in the coming future you will be able to basically text or to basically send an email using ivi which is in vehicle infotainment system which is one of the most in advanced cockpit or you can say advanced cock, uh, infotainment system we will talk about this system in the coming future as well and the fourth point is the in car digital wallet a lot of people are asking to basically manage or to make a in car wallet and so that the person can basically store the fixed amount into that wallet and they will be able to monitor the expenditure or the amount they are spending on their toll petrol pumps uh, drive through different kind of things it would be easy for them to basically track their expenses but the challenge is that they are not being able to adjust by collaborating with the big giants such as visa debit card rupee but they are being able to add money using different kind of mobile application as well the fourth point which i want to talk about is the visa and sirixum announcing that their partnership on the new vehicle payment solution in the built in built into dashboard using biometric system so the payment is more secure if you are using a biometric system as the mobile industry is already using different kind of biometric system and face recognition system to make the payments the same would be used by the automotive industry to make different kind of payments or different kind of things making it more uh, secure and making it more convenient for you to basically make the payments while you are driving without opening your windows and without interacting with the other person on the road so i hope you enjoyed this video and you will get to know about what is fintech and how automotive industry is basically adopting it and what are the opportunities for you to basically develop different kind of product and you can earn a lot from this kind of technologies if you have developed anything so for that if you have enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe to my channel i have just got a news from my friend that you are 50% of people those who are watching this video or watching on my channel are not subscribing to this channel i don't know why because it's free of course you can do it and it doesn't charge any money to basically subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that whenever we upload any video you will get the notification as well till then thank you for watching this video and have a nice day